Welcome back to, to day two of the Decarbonizing the West Boise workshop. Glad to see everybody. Yesterday was filled with engaging discussions on tr uh, several topics related to natural sequestration. And the day started with an exploration of dairy digester technologies and agricultural waste, shedding light on how these systems abate greenhouse gas emissions, emphasizing biogas recovery opportunities and challenges in reducing agricultural sector emissions. In our second session, panelists highlighted strategies for incentivizing climate smart agricultural practices to curtail carbon emissions, emphasizing approaches and em excuse me, uh, emphasizing approaches like compensating producers and stimulating demand for carbon markets. Researchers from Idaho National Laboratory highlighted their work on numerous low carbon energy pathways and the day ended with a panel of forestry experts sharing perspectives on carbon storage in mass timber and highlighting potential of using mass timber products to stabilize forest carbon, abate emissions, and bolster forest health treatment through expanded supply chains and markets. Again, thank you all to who participated in those conversations and for sharing your perspectives with us. With us. To set the table for today's discussion, it is my honor to introduce today's host, Wyoming Governor Mark Gordon. Since launching his Decarbonizing the West initiative in June, Governor Gordon has shown great leadership and an unwavering commitment to these issues. He completely personifies the WGA's bipartisan ethos and reflects its effectiveness, and his traveling to Boise to join us today for his initiative workshop highlights that fact. So with that, I am pleased to welcome the 33rd governor of the great state of Wyoming, chair of the Western Governors Association, and recent star of the recent 60 Minutes, <laughs> the Honorable Mark Gordon. Well, good morning, and you know, my first line here was welcome back to day two. So Jack, thanks for stealing that. Um, but welcome, welcome back to the, to the workshop, and I'm really excited to be here. Uh, yesterday, I'm really sorry I wasn't able to be here because it sounded like it was a very full day, and I really thank uh, Governor Little for hosting this workshop and hosting yesterday uh, and providing such a great forum. Y you know, I, I think about, this, this was particularly interesting to me, because when I worked for Apache Corporation, um, my boss at the time, Raymond Plank, Apache is an oil company, but Raymond always had this idea that he was a Johnny Appleseed. And um, he was very interested in a technology coming out of Minnesota, which is where he was from, it was a Garn uh, wood stove. And the Garn um, is, is, is the only wood stove that really met EPA requirements. It's water jacketed. He made an effort to sort of connect solar with that. Uh, and because he believed very strongly in renewables, he also uh, had um, a, a tremendous string of successes. But one of the things uh, that he required us to do was to plant uh, over a million trees. Believe me, when you're planting that many trees, you start talking about how many can we get done in a minute. And it turns out that you spend a lot of your life uh, doing, doing that very enterprise, but it was important. We also managed the ranch in such a way that we were able to successfully um, and demonstrate uh, uh, actually sequestering about 2,640 metric tons of carbon just by improving our grazing practices. These are low-hanging fruit, and that's what's so great about, about today is the ability to really explore um, not only ways to finance, ways to look at, and, and, and techniques, um, but then also to understand how important natural systems are to really dealing with how we uh, sequester carbon. Western Governors has a long history of tackling complicated issues like these and addressing them in a thoughtful and bipartisan way. That is the way the West was won. It is the way this country can do great things. Um, Governor Little did that with his initiative, Working Lands, Working Communities. Um, Governor Ige did that with uh, invasive species. Uh, Governor Polis has done that with geothermal. Uh, all of these shine a light on the role that local communities play in successful land management and generating policy recommendations to foster healthier, more resilient landscapes while supporting diverse economic opportunities for those communities. I really want to say that the discussions that we foster in this are important. They're important in the national discussion and they're especially important at the local level. Uh, these are discussions that are not just part of uh, how we decarbonize the West, but they're ways to lead our, the world forward, especially in the light of uh, what we've seen in COP28. 
Natural sequestration is an important element of carbon reduction strategies, but this initiative is also examining opportunities to advance carbon capture broadly uh, using utilization, storage technologies, direct air capture, et cetera. I hosted the first workshop in Gillette, Wyoming in September, which explored carbon capture utilization and storage technologies in one of the newest plants and cleanest plants. Um, and it's funny, if you look at when they show Dry Fork uh, on national news, they don't often get to the top of the stack. And the reason for that is there's not really anything coming out from that stack, except if it's 20 below, and then there's a little bit of steam. It, it was a, a great uh, opportunity to have roundtable discussions on, focused on regulatory and technical barriers for CCUS development, followed by a tour of Wyoming's integrated test center where we've uh, allowed for various bays to look at new technologies to do a better job with carbon capture, um, different uh, approaches to use CO2 as a valuable product beyond just an exhaust or a waste. Um, and you can look at the sessions. They're available to, uh, to you on the WGA website. My fellow Western governors will host two more workshops throughout the winter, exploring issues and themes relevant to decarbonizing opportunities across all of our states. Governor Tina Kotek will host a workshop in Portland, Oregon, March 11th and 12th, 2024. That will be when my session is coming to an end, and I'm uh, we have a very short uh, legislative session, so I probably won't be able to be there, although I probably will wish I were there. <laughs> 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 and then Governor Jared Polis will host a workshop, the details of which will be announced soon. We encourage you to stay engaged throughout these workshops and forthcoming webinar series and continue sharing your expertise throughout the year. WGA will publish a report detailing the initiative's findings and recommendations, which will be released next summer. I thank you uh, for those of you who are joining us today in person, as well as those who are tuned in on the live stream. Thank you to all the panelists who came to share their expertise and engage in bipartisan discussions about these issues, discussions which I will underscore are focused on solutions, not just rhetoric. I'd also like to thank our initiative sponsors, Tri-State Generation and Transmission Association, NetPower, J.P. Morgan Chase, the Walton Family Foundation, Google Energy, Basin Electric Power Cooperative, and Idaho National uh, Nuclear Laboratory, I Idaho National Laboratory, without whose support this effort would not be possible. I'm look looking forward to today's discussions, and Jack, I get to turn it back to you. Thanks very much. <laughs>